Art comes in all shapes and sizes, and tonight we're talking with a local artist who specializes in making tiny art with a big message. Denver 7's Colette Bordelon saw it in action and shares how everyone can take part. There you go. The difference between Sam Wagner and this should fit and a kid in the candy store is the precision behind everything in his studio. The printers can go down to uh, 0.2 millimeters. Especially in the fun-sized creations. What do I do? Yeah. Oh, um... The better question is what doesn't he do? For the most part, I, I call myself an artist. For the past five years, it's been the full-time job he was made for. I've been very dyslexic since I was a kid. I've always found reading, writing extremely difficult, and so making art was the best way, best medium, for me to tell that story. The story he's telling here in Denver is one the kid who turned tape into art or was fascinated with a chalkboard would love. And I'm always on the lookout for just fun things. I'm always pointing them out, driving everybody crazy. My kind of mission statement as an artist has always been to connect to the childlike wonder that we all have. Wagner moving at the New York City pace he was raised in. Move quick, I talk quick, think quick. Wanted to find a way to connect with his new community here in Denver. He keeps at it because the tiniest of trinkets are a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it's just so exciting, even more for me, like watching other people find them. These minis he makes of things like artwork or signs throughout Denver are posted on his Instagram. Tag me when you find one. Near their life-sized counterparts. And Wagner rides around on one wheel, making it happen. My followers like rush to those locations and try to grab them. I try to hang around when I can to watch them grab the objects because it just brings me so much joy to see how excited they get over this little tiny piece of plastic I printed. Yeah, this was just me like being, eh, maybe he'll be near Cheeseman Park. There's no end date to an exhibit like this. Keep your eyes peeled or you might just miss them. One that Wagner started to connect with other people. I went home and everything and I was like, I was like, I don't need any more. And then I saw the exclusive drop and I was like, oh, I have to get out again. And one where the people on the other end are connecting with themselves again. Children are very, uh, they're looking at everything. Everything has the same amount of input and same amount of importance. But as we get older, it's just less and less. It's all about point A to point B, focusing on what we've got going on. Everybody's in their own head, including myself. But with the minis meant to be remembered as moments. Ooh, that's a really good one. Wagner hopes everyone is able to slow down and be a kid again. Why not let adults take part and have a little piece of that childhood fun uh, that you don't usually get in your day-to-day -day life. Going about your day in Denver. I love Denver and so it's just cool to have like a little piece of memorabilia about it. Like a kid in a candy store. Colette Bordelon, Denver 7. That is so cool. Yes. And his fans get to go be a part of it and find the art. Yes, and I'm looking for him on Instagram. <laughs> He's Sam Wagner Design. If you want to go out and do a Denver scavenger hunt, find oh, some of his stuff.